Stock of the PS5 started as early as 2017 with experts and analysts predicting a 2018 release during the apex of the most successful console of the decade. But now, Sony's Mark Cerny has opened up about their next generation console and it sounds like the PS5 is going to be a massive improvement over the PS4 and even the PS4 Pro. And it's coming soon. This is Colt Eastwood. Thank you so much for checking out this news. I'm really excited for the next generation for many reasons and we'll cover why you should be too. Hit the like and subscribe button and let's find out what Sony has under the hood for the PS5. As early as 2015, four years ago, Sony and Mark Cerny began design on the PS4 Pro and the blueprint for the PS5. For almost a year, experts and industry insiders have been speaking of the possible PS5 with AMD's family of compute tech with terms containing Ryzen, Navi, and Zen. And our predictions and leaks for the next generation PS5 have been confirmed to be based on a new 7 nanometer Zen 2 8 core 16 thread CPU paired with a Radeon Navi custom GPU with power somewhere between a Vega 56 and a GTX 1080 which is a $400 to $500 GPU for desktop PCs. The GPU is of little concern or rather little fanfare when everyone should be focused on the CPU for the PS5. The biggest hurdle for the Generation 8 Xbox One and PlayStation 4 is the bottlenecked CPU. Even though current games look incredible on the Xbox and PS4, the majority of big titles are held back at 30 FPS, unable to make the leap to 60. The PS5 Zen 2 architecture will increase instructions per clock, meaning that every time a frame needs to be drawn, especially with higher detail and extra effects in motion, the Zen 2 chip can take the workload and keep up with the faster, more powerful graphics engine. More frames and more frames with detail the PS4 Pro has a handful of games that can run beautifully detailed games at half of 4K at 60 FPS, but expect the PS5 to handle more games at close to 4K and 60 FPS with extra effects that make games more immersive. And even this early on, Sony is boasting capabilities for 8K resolution on the PS5, albeit at lower frame rates. This is where the Navi GPU brings the PS5 into the next generation. The Radeon Navi GPU will support ray tracing, a hardware advancement that has just begun its debut on gaming PCs via NVIDIA's RTX series in late 2018. Under normal conditions, ray tracing brings performance to its knees, cutting frame rates in half at the cost of gorgeous, lifelike, real-time reflections, lighting, and dynamic shadows. On the PS5, it's more likely, since it's taxing on performance, ray tracing will be implemented into games on a case-by-case -case basis at the discretion of the developer, but with more processing of the graphics power, we may see more options on game menus outside of brightness and gamma. To further round out the immersion of high frame rates, high resolution and dynamic reflections in the world, the PS5 will add 3D spatial audio to the experience. This is good because the Xbox One has had 3D spatial audio with Dolby Atmos for almost two years. And speaking of 3D spatial, the PSVR headset of 2016 is planned to be compatible with the PS5 and most likely, although not confirmed, a PSVR 2.0 could be in the works for the PS5. All of that power and games will most likely scale up the install size with more detail and bigger worlds to push to your screen. The PS5 will eliminate long loading times with an SSD, a solid state drive. That's much faster than a conventional hard drive, taking a 15 second transition loading area down to less than one second. We could see load times almost 20 times shorter than a conventional console. Over time, this means more game time and less waiting for installs and less loading time overall. All of this sounds incredible, powerful and a true upgrade to next generation, but how much will it cost? We're already seeing the same reaction to the Xbox Scorpio specs of 2017, with people saying that the PS5 looks expensive. Experts and analysts were sure that the mid-generation Xbox One X would be upwards $600, some even predicting that it would be almost $800. When they look at PS5 specs, they price out a similarly priced desktop PC at retail price for one build. 
AMD is developing custom hardware for millions of PS5 consoles in bulk, making hardware concessions for a purpose-built home console. Sony's success in the hardware has always been on a foundation of a $400 price point in the US, and they have no motivation to push a more expensive launch console just to best Microsoft's hardware team building a more powerful Xbox Anaconda. All the specs summed up tell us one thing about the PS5. Games will look amazing at the highest resolution, competing visually with the most high-end gaming PCs, pushing 4K visuals, higher settings for lighting, effects, and physics. Ray tracing will bring next generation to the next level with real-time reflections and lifelike lighting. Performance will be on par with a powerful gaming rig with high frame rates running most mainstream AAA games at 60 FPS or even some at 120 for those capable displays. Load times will be almost nearly eliminated, removing the old standard of taking a break between fast traveling, loading up games, and maybe even removing the need to watch several Logo Studio screens before booting up a new game. Sound will be an immersive experience bringing the game around you, even expanding to VR with a possible PSVR 2.0 or immediate improvements to the standard PSVR. All of this possibly just for $400, and how soon will we see the PS5? Well, normally Sony would ready a new console for the holiday season at the end of the year, but the way Mark Cerny confirmed that 2019 is not the year for the PS5, I think we may see the PS5 hitting store shelves a year from now as early as spring 2020. This is Colt Eastwood. Thank you so much for watching. I'm excited for the next generation of consoles, and this will probably be the first time that I buy both at launch, especially if the PS5 releases six months before the Xbox Anaconda. It's cool to see almost everything we've reported here over the past several months coming true. If you like this video, support the channel by liking and subscribing. I put out content about once a week, so hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Add me on Xbox Live and Twitter at Cold Eastwood if you'd like to talk or just ask me a question. That's all for now. Tell me in the comment section what game do you think is launching on the PS5 next year. And while you're reading those comments and replying, remember, be nice.